handed the speaker's gavel to Ryan after praising Boehner for his dedication. All the formalities, you know. Yeah. Ryan also saluted Boehner, who for conservatives became a symbol of Washington's ills as a man who too readily accepted compromises with President Obama. Every time you have a compromise, the people lose. He's a man of character. A true class act, Ryan said. <sighs> Boehner shook hands with Ryan at the lectern, walked up the aisle to the chamber's rear, <laughs> his eyes brimming with tears. Of course, of course. Orange juice or tears? <laughs> he accepted hugs from Republicans and Democrats alike. Watching the vote from the visitors gallery was Mitt Romney, the GOP's unsuccessful 2012 presidential nominee, who vaulted Ryan, 45, to national prominence by selecting him as his vice presidential running mate. Yep, also, he, yeah, he selected the, the Muppet face. Also in the audience were Ryan's wife, Jana, and their three young children. Now, why couldn't they get rid of uh, Turtle Face uh, Mitch McConnell? Why couldn't he buck heads with his partying? So I don't have to look at that face anymore. Who gained some attention after Ryan insisted he would take the time draining speaker's post only if he could carve out time with his family. Before the vote, Boehner bade farewell to his colleagues after a quarter century House career, including the last five as Speaker. I have no regrets, no burdens, Boehner said, in a ten-minute speech. If anything, I leave the way I started, just a, a regular guy. Oh, sure. Humbled by the chance to do a big job. Oh, yeah, he's, he eats pork and beans for lunch, yeah. Ryan's ascension came as Congress neared completion of a bipartisan accord to avert a jarring federal default next week and likely prevent the December government shutdown by setting spending levels for the next two years. The House approved the bill Wednesday, 266 to 167, with a final Senate passage on track in a few days, despite opposition from conservatives seeking the GOP presidential nomination. The House budget vote underscored Ryan's challenge in leading Republicans who often have a scant interest in compromise, especially in the midst of a GOP presidential contest, dominated by candidates who vilify Washington insiders. House Republicans opposed the budget deal by 167 to 79, but Democrats supported it unanimously. Oh, brother. I'm telling you, two-party system. Democrats are not the same anymore. They want to... It's like that stupid song, uh, Let's... let's uh, can't we be friends? Uh -huh. Republican presidential candidates, Senators Marco Rubio, Rand Paul, and Ted Cruz, Proclaim they are pro woman. For now. Yet all three <coughs> voted against the Paycheck Fairness Act multiple times and also against reauthorizing the Violence Against Women Act when they came up in the Senate. Yeah, but Republicans want um, rape vi victims to carry the baby and give birth to it. In August, 
on CNN's State of the Union program, Governor Christ said that the National Teachers Union deserved a punch in the face. He deserves a lot worse. 76% of the educators who belong to the National Education Association are women. When Christie made the comment, he might as well have said that the millions of hard-working female educators who are members of the NEA and who spend their days nurturing, educating, and advocating for our kids should be punched. Yeah, he's, he's quite the entertainer, Chris Christie, isn't he? he, he he's like... Um, Oh man, yeah. Uh, you know now, teachers, nurses, and the police—they're all unionized professions, right? And and unions traditionally, well, they're they're smart to do so. Traditionally, vote Democrat, and it seems like unions gradual crumbs. gradually are. It's the matter of the crumbs. Yeah, but their unions are leaning towards Bernie Sanders, which I'm very happy about. That's good. Yeah. Not one of Christie's fellow Republicans was brave enough to <clears throat> challenge this bullying and inappropriate language and attitude. <sighs> Sad to say, misogyny has become a featured component of the Republican Party at the national level. I guess he's going to use uh, misogyny against Hillary Clinton when he gets, if he ever gets to debate her, because, uh, you know, he's going to destroy Hillary Clinton oh, yes, in, 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 in a debate. It must be contagious, because <coughs> now we've got Republican politics on different levels <coughs> doing the same. I am sick and tired of this! And if you are too, please remember to vote accordingly. How are we doing on time? Probably none. It's a little after four. All right. You got a little baby reading? Or well, I don't know about a baby or one. Or a short one? Uh, eh. Well, one that isn't long. It's not long. That That is good. Columbia, South Carolina. A deputy who flipped a disruptive student out of her desk and tossed her across her math class floor was fired on Wednesday. Very current, applicable reading. Thank you. I, the I, sheriff I, called I was, his actions unacceptable. I, I almost forgot about this incident. I watched the video. And said videos recorded by her classmates show a girl posed no danger to anyone. Oh, he roughed her up for no reason. Uh, 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 how old was this girl? She was a minor, right? Yeah, of course. Oh, big tough macho cop has to beat up a little girl. And, uh, oh, well, you're, you're real tough. What he should not have done is throw the student. Uh, the county sheriff said. Police officers make mistakes, too. They are human, and they need to be held accountable. And that's what we've done with Deputy Ben Fields. Well, keeping your composure is, is part of being professional at, at, at your job. I mean, as a cop, as a police officer, you... You would think so. You would think that was part of the training, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah, well, it, it, and then in keeping your composure, that, uh, that includes <laughs> not being uh, Judge Dredd, you know, uh, and, and blowing people away because you don't like their face. Well, you should punch them, according like, to Mr. Christie. Like Chris Christie. Yeah. No, nah, he wants to, um, he wants people to, uh, 
never ask for help unless they're rich and if you're not rich and you ask for help you get beat up according to Chris Christie's way of thinking civil rights groups praise the swift action against fields a veteran school resource officer oh they would have made this into something real big and football coach at Spring Valley High School Outrage spread quickly after videos of the white officer arresting the black teenager on Monday appeared on the internet. Of course, of course. If it, if it's the other way around, if it's black on white, nobody cares. They don't, you know. They never. You're lucky if it makes the news. Scott Hayes, an attorney for the deputy, said the officer's actions were justified and lawful. <laughs> he, he, he'll make a great Republican politician in the future, this attorney. He said Fields wouldn't have any comment because of the federal investigation. Lott thanked the FBI for investigating whether civil rights were violated and school officials for promising to review how police are used for discipline. So being a fascist stormtrooper is lawful and acceptable and appropriate according to this attorney. In South Carolina. In, in the redneck red state of South Carolina. Yeah, that's good. That, that, want, that ha has made homelessness illegal. <sighs> you're homeless? Oh, you're a va Rest them for vagrancy. Put them in a privatized prison. Another slave. What was that country that's building the little, not not over here in Utah, uh, one of the countries are building little houses for the people, the homeless. Yeah, f big fucking deal. They look like tool sheds. Well, it's better than being out in the uh, snow and the rain. I like the homes for the homeless that, that are in Utah. They, it's the same. It, it looks, nah, these were smaller. The, yeah, the, the nah, ones nah, in, nah, The nah, ones nah. in Utah look like they were about the size of a New York City studio apartment. Yeah, like one room, room, one room and a half. I mean, these other ones were friggin' tool sheds. <laughs> <laughs> they need to understand that when they call us, we are going to take a law enforcement action. Maybe that ought to have been something handled by the school without ever calling the deputy. Well, she probably did not want to vacate the class, but, um... You, you subdue when you have to. You handcuff when you ha when you need to. You you bodily remove her, but you don't beat her up or throw her across the classroom or or punch her or kick her or whatever. Well, she was black. He could do that. Well, you see, he, he, see? this is the double standard and the racism. What we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. But they would say it has nothing to do with racism. He was just doing his job. Yeah, and then there are people. And they are against you know the 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 the, the, the conservatives and Republicans are on the on the shows now, and they are so saying that because of all this criticism and these videos and etc., the cops can't do their job anymore. They don't want to do their jobs anymore. So their job is to be a cruel fascist stormtrooper, and no, and, and be judged no, dread. because basically, what they're saying is. There aren't any bad cops. So, we are the bad people so, okay. for taking the videos, putting them on the internet, and letting people see this stuff. So cops reserve the right. So Republicans say cops reserve the right to be racist and to and to be ju a judge, jury, and executioner. Can do anything they want. If it, hap if, if, if it involves people of color. That's correct. Yeah, and of course, I don't know why she's relevant, but Sarah Pal Bristol Palin felt sorry for the police officer. And uh, of course, they had to put that on the internet that Bristol Palin sided with the police officer. Uh, of course, yeah. The sheriff had stern words for the student who started the confrontation by refusing to hand over her cell phone after her math teacher saw her texting in class. 
No, you're supposed to take... A ta violation of school policy. You're supposed to take the call out, out in the hallway. You're supposed to go out in the hallway because if you... Uh, it is very rude when a teacher is speaking to the class to not pay attention to him and to uh, take cell phone calls. I agree. My uh, uh, In college, they say the same thing. Well, you know, you'll have to go out in the hallway or I have to confiscate your phone. Mm -hmm. Now, all right, the girl was uh, probably being uh, arrogant and not complying because there's a good chance I bet the teacher was white and uh, because she's black and, no, and she was playing the race car, she was not compliant, but still it was no excuse to like beat her up or throw her. You it know was no I mean? excuse to choke hold Mr. Garner to death either. Choke hold See, him this to is death. The problem he was already it. subdued. Correct. And handcuffed. But selling cigarettes illegally, why does the person have to be subdued in the first place? Why don't why don't you just tell them, say, look, you really can't sell these cigarettes on the street. It's right. illegal. And then you write out the ticket. So put you know, please leave and take your cigarettes with you. You don't put him in a, use it as an excuse to choke him to death, and he's he was asthmatic, exactly. you know, obese too. In this case, the girl was roughed up, I guess, semi beat up and thrown. I mean, the girl was guilty for not complying. If I was a teacher, I would get pissed too if people started taking personal phone calls. It's like if you're on a job, you're on a company's time and you're supposed to be at work and you're friggin I saw this with my own eyes this girl's boyfriend kept on calling her every 10 minutes and it's like you know the supervisors say hey what's going on here is it a, is it an emergency that you gotta take the call no he was just being a, a possessive yeah. jerk off you know o overbearing yeah. so anyway so why didn't they just call one of her parents <coughs> to come down and take her out? I would, I would, uh, you know I would I mean? have had the principal of the school come in. Well, what is he going to do? He ain't going to. He was going to throw her out of the chair just like the deputy. No, he no, he would have to call the parents. Yeah, and, 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 and actually, I would expel her. I would, I would give her a suspension. Whatever. Or whatever expelled her. But that's her. something uh, after the fact. The, the, the point is, the cop, the cops, want to handle the situation right then and now. So they always overreact. That's what happened. That's what happens. But, he, you, uh, but I think he overreacted and used the fact that she was a black kid talking, you know, not complying and being uh, disobedient. Yeah, I'm sure his ego was hurt. No, you know? no, his, his, his racism made him rough her up. It was an excuse to rough her up, you know. Well, uh, it could be in South Carolina. You know, you, 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 uh, you know, the, 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 the blacks in the North, you know, they, if they want to be non-compliant and belligerent and whatever, <coughs> it's more accepted. But still, we have we have rules in school. We have school policy up here too. But uh, well, if you let me continue reading, we will see that she will be responsible for that. All right, go ahead. But that's something entirely different than the throwing. Well, it, it falls. Yes, you mean it's a more generalized subject. But I'm taught what I got into. No, she will get her punishment. All right, go ahead. Both she and another student who verbally challenged the officer's actions during the arrest still face misdemeanor charges of disturbing schools punishable by up to a thousand dollars fine or 90 days in jail. Oh. Okay? Oh, okay. So her punishment is down the road. It did not have to be at that particular time by the deputy. Three months in, in, in the... Judge Dredd. Three, three, three months in the clink with 
would teach her a lesson for sure. Good. More than a dozen parents and community members vented their anger at Tuesday night's school board meeting. We are sick and tired of black women being abused. Um. You can say it's not racist all you want. If that was my daughter, that officer being fired would be the least of his worries. Oh well, yeah, you don't beat up somebody's kid, but the point is, you call the parents down to the school and say, you know, your daughter um, not only broke school policy, but she uh, is going to be arrested and she faces charges. And, uh, and you tell the parents, who are the guardians, what her daughter did. Yeah. What her daughter did, because she's a minor. Get her out of here. Right, right. Okay. That would be the right thing to do. Yeah. Getting the parents down. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, when I when I get home, I'm gonna take Benadryl, because this other medicine. You know, sometimes you just gotta go with the stuff that makes you drowsy to to get it to work. I apologize for me, a blow, and then. Honking away. Dripping and honking and uh, the, the tissues, you know, during the show, you know. But I learned my lesson. You got to go with the hardcore stuff if you want results. Okay, that's it. Got one more nice, nice here. Okay? Oh, something to leave with something, on a positive note. Something Halloweenish? No. Okay, All right, go ahead. I am madly in love with a man. Oh, God. I've been dating for almost a year. Madly. But I don't think he's in love with me. <coughs> he claims he's been hurt twice from two failed marriages. He keeps giving me mixed signals. He questions me about my male friends constantly. Oh. He shows up at my apartment uh, without calling in hopes that he will catch me with another man. This, this male friend routine, uh, it's bullshit. Like my grandfather used to say, hug, 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 leads to kiss, 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 leads to fuck, fuck, fuck. During his last drive-by, he saw me in my car at midnight listening to music while surfing the web on my phone. <laughs> of course, he thought I was on the way out to a boyfriend's house because I had my gym bag and a grocery bag in the front seat with me. He ordered me to open the bags. so he could see if I had any overnight clothes inside. I guess he's not comfortable with her having male friends. I After don't... he saw there were no clothes, he calmed down. I don't know if I should keep this relationship going or if I should abandon ship. Or abandon your, her male friends. That's another we, choice. We didn't have any male friends here. Where did you come up with that? You said that you read... He said... You read that she has male friends that she spends time with. Or is he... Yeah, but he's never caught her with any of them. But does she spend time with her male friends? I'm sure. Do you spend any time with female friends? I don't generally like the idea of having a female friends to... to platonically hang out What with. if they're big and fat? It just, I'd never done it before. Well, the, the point, pro, 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 think of it is, I mean, the thing of it is, she's got male friends, and they have nothing to do with making whoopee or anything like that. Uh, yeah, but if she spends time with them, there is always the possibility because she might not have it on her mind, but they might have sex on their mind. Well, she has no control over that now, does she? Uh, this is what's bothering the boyfriend. But he, he doesn't know anything. Because, because he knows how guys are. But he doesn't know anything. 
He has no proofs. He has no nothing. This is all paranoid <sighs> schizophrenia. But the only thing he knows is that she's his girlfriend, serious girlfriend. She's female, and the male friends are male. And if you're a male, you know how men think. Therefore, and that I have been hurt by two women in my past, so I have to be paranoid now. <laughs> well, nobody, nobody wants to get burnt uh, uh, emotionally, or uh, you know, nobody wants to. Then don't get in a relationship. Emotional trauma. Nobody likes that. Well, don't get in a relationship then. Stay home and be a hermit. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I don't trust. I don't trust people. In general. Well, then it wouldn't work for a good relationship, now would it? Well, I don't, I don't yeah. even uh, no. I even have my doubts about my male friends. Uh, and some. Well, some you ain't having sex with your male friends. Yeah, that's uh, true. That's true. Unless you're going to get married. I mean, some that's states true. you can get married now, or all states actually. Well, look, if the if the if the alternative if the um, uh, um, a significant other spends a lot of time with you. That's a good sign. If the significant other only spends like one or two days a week with you, then I would say she's possibly banging and sucking other dicks. You know what I mean? That she's. Oh my God! See you. There's no proof that this this stuff you goes you there. have this. You think this that is that that you think that men. No, you, you're being very naive. If you, I am a man. There's a I lot know of, what men think. And a lot and women cheat so what too. What does that have to do with anything? And statistically, a lot of women cheat nowadays more than they did in the past. Fine, but you are reading things into this where it, it, there's nothing going on like that. You're too... The man has no proof for anything but what goes on in his head. Oh, okay. He's paranoid. Yes. Thank you. Could you please let me know how I should handle my situation? And here is dear Abby's response. You may be madly in love with this man, but unless you have agreed that your relationship with him is exclusive, he should not be grilling you about your friendships with your male friends. Uh, and a serious relationship, male. You just said that. Spells trouble. Now, my statement is in a serious relationship, male friends for for the woman spells trouble. Knowing how men are. Yeah. 